Okay, is the camera so we're angle's here. fine. That's important. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking wonderful. Yes. And I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> My job is just to be here. We both. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we're back with the eighth semi-finalist. We're nearing the end now, and uh, as I always do, I'll give the word over to the main person here to introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your um, musical background. Yeah, yeah. My name is Gudbjörg, and uh, I'm almost 40 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm a mom of five children. Wow. I'm a singer. <laughs> and a vocal coach and uh, yeah, human being, mm -hmm. I'm married. Did you start singing when you were very young? Actually, no, huh? no. I had a very low self-esteem and when I was a teenager, I, I noticed in parties and everything, people were telling me, oh, your voice is very nice, but I had never had the courage. But uh, I had a, a wedding when I was 18 or 19 in, uh, in Peretla. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I was there. <laughs> Probably my mother. Yeah, I think my mother. Yeah. Yeah. Volunteered you. Yeah. Yeah. She volunteered me, <laughs> and it went well. Mm -hmm. And then I had one my first time singing in a microphone in a in a cafe with a band from my good friend. Mm -hmm. And then I did nothing. Then I moved to Denmark. No, German. No, Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I was nineteen, and then I had my first band, and then okay. it really started. So your career actually started in Germany? Yes. Hmm, cool. Yeah. Um, this is going to be your first time as a front singer yes. in Sangwa Kepni. Yeah. You've been backing vocalist many times. Yes. Uh, have you ever considered participating as a lead singer before? I have thought about it for many years. Mm. From maybe year 2000 when I went to uh, Sweden yeah. with uh, Tell Me. Yeah. I was a back vocalist then. It was the one of the most adventures in my life mm. and one of the best times I've had. That was a so, great contest. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I think I've been dreaming about this since ever since then. then. Yeah. yeah. Back uh, vocal is, is fantastic. Yeah. I really love it. Mm. And I hopefully I will be doing that for the rest mm. of my life too. Mm. But uh, it's something about being in the front. It's yeah, it's also my dream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, um, th this is on Sunday. Uh, the song is not going to be uh, played publicly until tomorrow, so you can't sing it for us. No. Uh, but can you describe it? Yeah, it's uh, it's a light pop country song. Okay, with a little country vibe. Mm -hmm. And. Um, it's just very fun. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah. having such a good time. It's Great. a jolly. The I can relate to the lyrics because I've had the same experience. Mm. And this is about uh, a relationship that goes bad. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot of country songs. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a heavy story mm -hmm. about the woman who gets hurt, and uh, this is her. This is her goodbye, mm. really. Is it a ballad or an up-tempo song? No, it's or? up tempo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you can say much about it, but how's it going to look on stage? Um, Since you say we are having fun, I assume you're yeah. not going to be alone. No, I have four back vocals on the stage mm -hmm. and one backstage. And can I say that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. I am having a great dress and we are just having a fantastic time. Mm. Yeah, we love it. The environment, the atmosphere, everything. Yeah. And we are all teachers in in the singing school, Sing School in Maria. And Maria is the author yeah. of the yeah. song. So this is a group uh, atmosphere. Yeah. So you're fairly tight knit, you know each other well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you ever sung any of her songs from before? No, 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 I haven't. Because she has, she has um, participated with her songs before as well. Yeah, yeah. So, but this is the first time you're working together like that. Yes, mm -hmm. interesting. First time. Yeah. yeah. Um, in Kepni, yeah. all the songs have to be performed in Icelandic. Yeah. Uh, is there a chance that this one will stay in Icelandic if it should win? Maybe a slight chance, but yeah. not, not, not big. No, no. 
Um, do you prefer singing in Icelandic or English yourself? Um, I can't say I prefer, but uh, it depends. Mm -hmm. It really depends how the song is and, mm. and what was it written in English, was it written in Icelandic and yeah, it's, it depends, mm. really. Uh, so, so this was one of the songs that were actually born in English? Yes, yeah. it was born in English. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, a lot of the fans yeah. in, in Europe yeah. uh, appreciate languages. Yeah. So this is why I'm asking about this. Yeah. Uh, because last year was the first time since 97 yeah. that Iceland performed in Icelandic yeah. and everyone loved it. I loved it too. Yeah. I was so happy when they did it because I think that particular song was just Icelandic, mm. so the atmosphere and everything. Yeah. So and th they said afterwards that it was never even no. considered no. doing it in English. No. So yeah, it depends on where the songs come from. Yeah, is it? I also think it depends a bit on the on the feelings behind it. Yeah, definitely. Mm. But Eurovision is a big thing here. Yeah. Uh, and it's like people have really strong feelings about it. They either hate it or they love it. Yeah. But everyone watches it. Yeah. Um, how 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 has your relationship to Eurovision been? Like growing up and yes. over the years? It was a huge part of my childhood. Yeah. I just have to say. I can remember not specific year, but all my childhood. Yeah. yeah. So I have a strong feelings for Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you have any favorites? It's very hard. I <laughs> you can mention more than so one if you want to. Hard. Yeah. I mean, uh, I love Waterloo. Mm -hmm. I love Appa. I yeah. have been performing Appa for many, many, many years, maybe 10 years or something. Okay, I'm going to steal one of my friend's yeah. questions here. Yeah. What's your favorite Appa song? My favorite Appa song? Wow. That's his questions to all participants. I love Fernando. Mm -hmm. I love Chiquitita. I love Name of the Game. Oh, so the more up-tempo yeah. kind of Winner song. takes it all. I, I love to perform that. Yeah. But I actually love all the songs. Yeah. I, Maybe not <laughs> completely equally, but uh, more so. Okay, back on track. No yeah. more ABBA. Yeah. Uh, you said Waterloo. Any other? Yeah. Gente di Mare has stayed with me mm. in my heart um, from Italy. And one Portuguese song, now I can't remember the woman's name, but something Fatu. It was a mm -hmm. song. Fatu just... is a wonderful song. Yeah, you know yeah. it? Yeah. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, Johnny Logan. It's also yeah. Which but one? Which one of them do you prefer? Hold me now. Yeah, <laughs> and also like a newer song. What from Belgium? I'm very, very. I have very difficulty to remember titles okay. and names. Yeah, <laughs> especially now. Okay, I can guess. <laughs> uh, me and my guitar. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, and usually something I love. It's not ballads or whatever mm -hmm. or languages is just when I can see the person on the stage singing from their heart yeah. I usually like it mm. it's just oh and he of did of course yeah, very assuming yeah. that you're gonna win and go to Copenhagen and everything's gonna be yeah. great and bright but if you don't <laughs> yeah. what are your plans for the immediate future my plans for the immediate future I released a CD now mm -hmm. my first solo CD cool. I've been planning it for 15 years uh -huh. and um, Long yes. pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> and started three years ago and finally now in January mm -hmm. it came and uh, I'm going to have a big concert and hopefully play around. Mm -hmm. And I usually don't plan a lot. No. I just want to you be just happy do. and my children are fine and try to squeeze more time <laughs> to perform because um, I should do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So, just feeling good. Yeah. Do you healthy. think you would try your luck in San Kwaketni again if you don't win this time? Yes, yeah. definitely. If I have the opportunity and the right song. Yeah. Definitely. Do you write music yourself as well? No, I don't. No. I don't. Maybe someday. 
maybe someday. Yeah. yeah. I don't have the time now. <laughs> no, I can imagine with five so, kids. <laughs> uh, maybe some people think during the night I get inspired. I don't get inspired in the night. I have to sleep. <laughs> I think just every hour I get in the night to sleep. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, but when you want to relax or you need inspiration, what kind of music do you listen to? Do you have any favorite artists or favorite genre of music? No, I'm very bad with the favorites. Okay. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. again. But um, the people who have inspired me is uh, Eva Cassidy, mm -hmm. Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, uh, Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. I mean, not specific genre, just big strong voices. women yeah. and with big voices and a lot of uh, attitude and heart. Mm -hmm. And um, that inspires me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I love country, I love ballads, I love rock, I love pop. I'm not very like classical, mm. but I can appreciate it yeah. once in a while. Yeah. And I love like old jazz, like Nina Simone mm. and Ella Fitzgerald. My heart really pumps in that kind of style yeah. as well. But like my CD, it's like old songs, old jazz songs, and one like from Ella James, and then I have Purple Rain. So I'm very, yeah, maybe confused. People would say, but uh, <laughs> well, I just that's actually everything. the first male song singer you've mentioned. Yeah, Purple Rain. Yeah, all the others were females. Yeah. Hmm. So we're seeing a pattern yeah. here. Really, <laughs> I love men. <laughs> as long as they don't own. sing. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> they are just a lots and lots and lots of people. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to be famous. If I go to a concert and there is somebody putting their heart mm. out, it doesn't matter if he has the biggest voice or... I just... Yeah. Yeah. I get that. So feeling like it, that. it's more... Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to wrap up soon now. Uh, so just... Uh, um, in the end here, uh, when, you do, when you're not preparing for Sangha Yeah. Uh, what does your like everyday life look like? Yeah. I mean, you, you teach singing. Yes, I do. And you have five children. Yes. And three, only three girls at home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the others are flown away mm. and uh, my average day, I wake up very early. Mm. I prepare everybody for uh, preschool and school and go out in a day and get my uh, yeah energy. Mm. And then I teach, then I drive around. They have like, my girls have piano and gymnastic and skiing. <laughs> yeah. So my car is my <laughs> home. So that's and where you're really home. <laughs> Yes, my car is my best friend <laughs> most of the days. And, uh, yeah, they don't look always the same, no. obviously, when I'm training for something mm. big like Eurovision or, or recording or something, mm. my days look a little different, yeah. but my average day is, um, my home is where my heart is, yeah. usually, yeah. but I really, my, my uh, passion is also for teaching, mm -hmm. and I also am uh, uh, studying in a complete vocal institute in Denmark, in Copenhagen. So you keep flying back and forth for that? Yes, yeah. six times a year, but I only started in the, in September. Okay. So, um, so, so the for the next year. three years. Mm. So, mm -hmm. love going well, on. Sounds like a very busy life. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, I, I always end the interview by saying thank you for taking the time to talk to us, and now I mean it even more yeah. <laughs> in your busy day. <laughs> thank um, you, no, I really appreciate it. Yeah, so it was uh, it, it was really, really nice talking to you. And as always, of course, could we have some singing in the end? Yes. Yes. No problem. Great.
imagine there's no country Imagine no oh.